We've got your back tonight with details on a proposal that would affect students, parents, and teachers. Yeah, they're talking about starting classes later in the morning to let kids get more sleep. Some say it would be better for their health and their grades, too. Medical reporter Joss Memento went to Guilford to get uh, more information and reaction. She's over here. She's live for us in News 8 Control tonight with more. Justin. All right, Darren, thank you. This study by the American Pedi Academy of Pediatrics spells out the benefits of a later start time for middle and high school students. This is what led the Guilford school system to take a harder look into it. School currently begins at 7.25 a.m. here at Guilford High School, but that could change. The Board of Ed is looking into a later start time, giving students an extra hour of sleep. Chairman William Bloss. Well, it, it, clearly, there are serious, significant educational advantages for this, at least according to all of the medical experts. And we have to uh, accept, I think, what these studies that have not never been criticized. Nobody's ever said, you know what, we, we, this, this evidence is no good. Studies show teenagers who get enough sleep have better grades, less likely to be involved in an automobile accident and suffer from depression. But issues such as bus routes, extracurricular activities, and family needs could be obstacles. I'm confident that we're going to look very hard at trying to overcome these obstacles. We're really, we're really right now just at the beginning of a conversation to see how important this is to the parents in the community. Experts say teens need at least eight and a half hours of sleep. Many like Claire Denauer do not get that much. I play sports after school. I like to do clubs. And I definitely have a lot of work considering the classes I take. So I go to bed really late. The 10th grader supports going to school later. It's definitely tough to concentrate, especially if like teachers are a little taking the class slow, but I try my best. Her mother agrees. Also, I think their biological clock just changes and they tend to want to go to bed later and the mornings are hard for us. I have two girls here at the high school and for both of them it's hard to get going in the morning. William Bloss tells me so far the reaction has been favorable, but many want to know how it will be implemented. They'll start the discussion this Monday at a public meeting at the Board of Ed, 7.30 p.m. at the high school. Wilton School District is the first in the state to switch to a later start time. Back to you.